Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Hey Felicia. You are most welcome to my channel. If you are new here, this is a very lovely space. I hope you enjoy it here and I hope you enjoy this video on this. So as a young medical doctor, right after medical school, all the excitement of finishing medical school, there's one particular thing we tend to forget about and that is career progression and then if i'm talking career progression not just in ghana but taking that decision as to whether you progress in ghana or outside ghana so whether to stay or to japa we tend to not think so much about it okay maybe other people do but from my experience from medical school i never thought about it it never paid all i thought about it okay i'm done in medical school and then yes what's next which was how job for me so yes we all know right if you are a medical doctor in ghana or in africa um after medical school you do your house job which is two years for us here and i think in nigeria they do one year house job and then one year um, how do you call it? The NYSC? Something like that. That's, I'm going to talk about all the pathways available to you um, in Ghana and then outside of Ghana. So we'll discuss uh, the pathway in the UK, we we'll discuss the pathway in the US, and we we'll also discuss the pathway in Australia. For Ghana, um, normally after house job, if you want to start residency, you need to write your primaries and then the primaries is just an entry exam into the Ghana College or even West African College. So um, it's written, for Ghana College it's written in March and then in September, West Africa is written in April and then October. It's cost 600 cities for Ghana College and 900 cities for West Africa College. So right of the medicals, if you make that decision, you decide that, okay, I would want to stay in Ghana, I would want to stay in Ghana you would need to sit for the primaries, okay? And then it's written for all the specialties. I think it's a three hour paper for all the specialties as well. And then, yeah, so when you pass, you are called for an interview after which um, and given letters assigned institutions for your training and then for most of the specialties in Ghana it's three years um, except for radiology and then after the three years you do fellowship which ranges from three to five years or more depending on the subspecialty you are interested in so that is for Ghana it's very easy there's no stress you can chill I think you are only eligible after house job or almost when you're almost done with house job yeah you can sit for this exam so there's no rush to it you can have all the time in your life chill enjoy our show and then when you're almost there you step for this exam but just make sure you don't miss the deadline to these exams okay. so going on to the international part which is becoming very common because of how ghana is and then the economy and everything when you go on twitter everybody is talking about how hey, i can't wait to leave i can't wait to leave my god he's going to stay too for the country <laughs> you guys don't do that let us stay involved by the ghana let's stay patriotic okay but yeah it's becoming very popular among amongst um, young medics. It's, it's, it seems to be the conversation, it seems to be the thing on our lips whenever we sit down to discuss anything. Everybody is looking forward to leaving Ghana, everybody is looking forward to leaving the country for greener you know, pastures or whatever it is. And the most popular ones are the USML and the Plug Pathway. But I noticed that there are a lot of younger colleagues who have no clue or who have no idea about as to how these exams uh, about so I just want to shed some small light and then we are going to compare them in terms of the exam scope, in terms of the course, in terms of the span and everything. USML stands for United States Medical License and Exam. So there are three steps. We have the step one, step two, and the step three. But before you start this whole process, you need to apply for it. I think you need to apply for USML ID, which costs like a hundred and thirty dollars. I am not so sure about it. But so you register for that, and then you are uh, you now have access to apply to sit for the step one and then you have an eligibility period of three months for which you then choose and then 
for the exam. It takes about six to eight months to study for this exam. It's basically for anatomy, physiology, pathology, microbiology, everything you did from first year to third year in medical school. So it's I remember someone advising as back in medical school is the best time to support the point is right after third year when you graduate and you're about to start clinical and that's when you said for it so me the advice i'm going to give you if you know that you are choosing for you as pathway right after medical school gather your materials get all the necessary things you need and start preparing towards your step one okay the popular book most people use is the first aid and then the kill band they use is new world new world is quite pricey but then you can always find your around join telegram groups where people have there's so many materials on the internet i mean especially on these telegram pages to so join one get the materials and in your first year of um, how is job is preparing to sit for your step one so that by the time you start second year you are done with step one you pass and then you start sitting you step for your step two so after the step two you can use your scores and then everything to register for eras i think era is so this is what helps you this system is what helps you to get much into residency and then so when you apply for the matching or residency program you call you apply for school then you're called for an interview and then if you're lucky you match and you start residency yeah and this whole process can take you up to three years so why don't you start right like it's just advisable you start right after medical school if you know you're so sure of yourself that is the US, um, US pathway you are going for right after medical school gather your materials if it's fancy start saving if you have family to support you the better you start studying and then you prepare for these exams house job i know can be so tough and can be demanding draining and everything but if you're so sure that is the part where you want to go i i would just advise you start right i don't get rid of house job okay so that you have the whole year like people use six to eight months to sit for it your your mind is fresh you're just out of medical school you have all the knowledge that's the right time to get it to sit for it so you Right in your first year of job, you sit for your IELTS, register for it. It's, without your IELTS, you can't start your club journey. So within first years, prepare for your IELTS. You register with British Council. You get your scores. I think you need a minimum score of seven in each, and then an overall of seven point five. I'm not so sure about it. <laughs> seven or five. Then you down. You then you start to register with the general medical council then from there you will be made aware if there are data available for you to sit for the club one so one thing i forgot to say is step one can be written it's written and um, throughout the year data available it can be written in ghana and any parts i think it can be written in Kumasi, Accra. for club that is the thing club is written four times in the year i think in february may no august and november okay so now and because of the covid the, um, getting a date for plan one has become so difficult very very difficult and it's prolonging the plan pathway so right after medical school first year sit prepare for your IEL, ielt is then get a date for the plan one the moment you pass your plan one you, you find a date for plan two um study the preparation period for plab two um can use one to three months to prepare for plab two people use academy which you pay for and it's expensive there have been other people too who have done it without academy in the past so for the plab two um yeah plab two is an oski exam so plab one is an mcq exams at 180 three hours and then plug two is an oski exam um 18 stations with two of them being red stations and you need to score a minimum of 10 stations to pass that exam after you pass your plug two you can then apply for your gmc license or you start your registration process for um, your license to practice in the UK. then you can start applying for jobs in the uk and 
then the other thing with the UK too is they have the MRCP and the MRC is on um, the MRCP is for the internal medicine people and those interested in surgery the MRC is so the MRCP I think is in three sessions I think part one part two and then paces and the MRCS has part A and part B if you are able to write these exams okay and you pass you can use them to register for a license to practice in the UK but they are very difficult to sum so most people tend to go the plot way and then yeah they get their license then later when they are in the UK they set for these exams to start residency and you are somebody putting everything i think step one is a thousand and something dollars step two is a thousand and something dollars as well step three can be written during your training it's and most people often write it before residency training but it can also be written during residency and then you don't need to travel to the u.s to sit for these exams so putting everything together plus the eras application and close to about five thousand or six thousand dollars for club club one is um 290 something pounds i'm going to put the right amount on the screen so you get to see club two is about an almost thousand pounds don't forget your this application to go for it in the UK. but club two is only written in the uk you can write it anywhere else in the world so you need to apply if you are, if you don't have a British passport or don't have a, a residence permit to stay in the UK you need to apply for a visa to go sit for the exams and then if you don't have any family or anyone in the UK or accommodation and plus the academy and everything close to four thousand pounds how long it takes um the US are really part we can take you two to three years and um, for plab you, if you are if you are very determined and focused you can use a year okay but then because of how difficult it is to get dates now can take you close to three years to finish the whole thing the whole process and everything I would want to talk about is Australia. You know, Australia is becoming a hot cake now. But the first exam is also an MCQ, which I heard is very difficult and it's quite expensive. It's about 3,000 Australian dollars. I'll get the right price and put it there. And then the part two is an OSCE exam, which can be done in Australia. So, but then the good thing to this is if you uh, if after you've written your club and then if you're able to practice in the UK for a year, you can use that your GMC license and the fact that you've practiced in the UK for a year to apply for jobs in Australia and you qualify to get the license. The other part where is the USM if you have a USM learning you've written all the steps that you've passed, you can also use it to practice in Australia. Okay, so that's for career progression so if you're in third year that's fine but if you're about to finish medical school i think it's something you should start thinking about yeah i know it may be too early but decide for yourself uh, do i want to stay in ghana or do i want to japa if you want to japa then you need to start preparing for these exams because they are hard and they are very expensive it takes a lot of motivation it takes a lot of <laughs> Courage to do these exams, and if you have a good support system, it's it's, it's, it's a bit bearable. Okay, so what I'd want to say is just decide right after medical school. Don't wait, my dear. Don't wait. Okay, because people will be making plans and be moving, and it looks like ah, they are not serious. It's as if they get it, but then again, it's an individual thing. Don't look at anyone to make decision look within yourself make that decision for yourself okay make sure it's something you truly want make sure it's something you really want then you make that bold step towards it i am just gonna okay let's say i'm broad our country gala but if not yeah it's that you need to start preparing it, it involves a lot of hard work these pathways also it's not easy becoming 
a consultant or going into residency in the UK is quite hard and very long. Uh, US is quite easy because if you, so far as you pass your all the steps and then you get lucky during your interview session in March, you start a residency and then you are good to go. But see for Ghana, you write your primaries, you pass, you are good to within three years, you are a specialist. You get it then now it's even becoming shorter and easier because i learned right of the specialty some people start fellowship right away most of the hospitals especially the teaching hospitals are given away to start fellowship program so make the decision and plan plan the planning involves studying and saving most of it most of the time right from the first day of house job you start studying and you start saving. That's if you want to go outside Ghana. But if not, Ghana is good. Even if you want to stay in Ghana, I think saving is good. Save chunk of your money. You don't lose too much of it, okay? Yes. So if you enjoyed this video, okay, don't forget to subscribe, okay? And if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, my comment session is open. Ask all the questions and I'll be willing and be glad. I'll be so glad to help you navigate the whole process, okay? Yeah. So thank you so much for watching my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.